Now, if you're an advanced custom fields free or pro user, you'll know that with the recent updates to bring in taxonomies and custom post types, it's opened up a lot of possibilities of what you can do without relying upon third party tools. However, there's still room for improvement. And in this video, I'm going to give you five free plugins that open up and expand what you can do inside primarily the dashboard with ACF, but also some of these can be very advantageous for the front end. So let me show you the ones I'm talking about in this video. First up, we have ACF Quick Edit Fields. And as the name suggests, it allows you to very quickly edit content, display additional content, sort and filter, and so much more. So let me show you how this all works. Now you'll find that there's no additional information being displayed down the left hand side with the plugin installed, no settings to set up. Everything is inside ACF itself. So for example, let's open up our accommodation details, which is a field group with custom meta fields included. And you can see we've got normal options, address, phone numbers, and so on. Let's expand the address option, hop over to presentation, and inside there, you'll see we've got a couple of new options. We can choose to show the column. Once we do, that then asks us, do we want to make this sortable? So you can make this a sortable column if you want to, if it's relevant. You can choose the column weight. This will just position it right the way across your stacking order. We'll set it to 100 right now, so it goes in second field. You can choose to enable quick edit, and you can also enable bulk edit. That's basically all you need to do. Hit save changes. We'll take a look now at our accommodation and list view. And you can see there's our address field listed inside there. Now, if we come over, we choose to do the option for quick edit. You'll see we now have accommodation details. We can adjust that information inside there for the address. And we also can do this with the bulk option. So let's come back out of this. We'll cancel it. We'll choose these three options just so we can choose a range. We'll choose the bulk action option and we'll choose to edit and click apply. And again, you can see there's the option for the address. You can see we can take the do not change. We can choose the operation to prepend and append. So we have additional options that we can use where relevant. So just one simple little plugin that opens up the ability to make editing, listing, sorting, and so on so much quicker and easier. Now, next on our list is a probably a little bit more of a complex and maybe be a little bit of a niche plugin. This is called ACF Views, and this allows us to create our own custom shortcodes and reference meta field data inside basically any way we want using the Gutenberg editor. Let me demonstrate just a really simple example of how this works. Once you install the plugin, you'll have a new entry called ACF Views, and inside there, we've got a couple of different sections. Let's click to open this up. We've got ACF Views, Cards, Overview, and if you want to go pro so you can have the extra features, you can do that. We're going to just literally look at the basics that we have inside the free version. So you can see I've already created a test view. Let's open that up and take a look at what's going on inside there. You can see we've got the option to give this a name, so you can name things logically to make sure that it makes a lot of sense. You can see I totally haven't done that whatsoever, but this is just a demo to see how it all works. Next up, we've got the basic tab, and this is where you can give a description of what this does, any CSS class or classes you want to apply to this when you create it. You can see whether you want to have a Gutenberg block. This is unfortunately a pro only feature. And then we can go in and we can choose the fields we want to reference. So if we open this up, you can see we can use post taxonomies, or in this example, you can see I've got my custom accommodation details and property type additional details. These are basically our ACF section. So in other words, if we go into our field groups, you can see accommodation details and property type additional details. So they have meta fields associated with them. Once you've done that, you can just simply go ahead, choose the option then for what field do you want to use. So you can see there's our address, telephone number, and so on, like we've just seen in the last sort of free plugin that we had. So we'll leave that set to telephone. And that's fine. If we want to add a label in, we can do that. Hop over to field options, and then you can choose to apply an identifier. If you want to apply a default value, if it's applicable, and you can choose the option to say shown when empty. So if we choose that, you can see it'll say by default, empty fields are hidden, which generally you'd want to do. So we'll leave that unchecked. We can go ahead, add additional fields in if we want to. So we may say we want to add a second one in. So we'll say again, we'll come to accommodation details. This time we'll choose something like the website URL. We won't worry about a label for this example. Come over to field options. If you want to set anything inside here, so we'll just say website. And again, default values, show if empty, those kinds of things are available. And then we can go ahead and we can click on update. 
We can come over to markup and this will automatically generate the markup. Now, if you want to create custom markup, you'd have to use the pro version. So you would have to upgrade. But if you just want to include the field information inside any way you want using a simple short code, this may be perfectly fine for you. But the option is there if you want to jump up to pro. Again, no affiliations with this whatsoever. I just think it's a cool plugin. Hopping over into advanced, you can see we can apply CSS code, JavaScript code, so we're getting a little deeper. And then if you want to, you can come in and you can preview the information, how it's going to be displayed, those kinds of things, using the code panel editor. And as you can see, there's the actual output, any CSS you want to apply, all those kinds of things inside here. So that's pretty cool. There's additional features, again, if you want to look at the pro option, but we're going to leave all that. So once you create your new view, you'll find you have these options for short codes in various different ways. A basic short code, You've got the short code then that will apply to the ID of the post that you're currently looking at, which is probably what most of it would want to use. And you've also got additional options if you want to use the ACF views and so on. So we copied that to the clipboard. We can simply come over. We'll go over into our accommodation, for example. We'll open up something like Ocean Drive. And inside our description, we're simply going to come down underneath. We can, if we want to, use the shortcode block. So you could use shortcode, and you could just pop that inside there, and you could just paste in your shortcode. And you can see that's perfectly fine. Or you can, if you want to, remove that from there and simply go ahead and just paste this directly into the actual editor itself. Click on Update. You can go ahead and preview this. If we scroll down, now you'll see there's our data that we've just pulled in for that particular uh, information for that particular post. So it's pretty cool that you can actually do this and you can use this in a multitude of different ways. You can have as much information as you want inside you. So you could use this to kind of create repeatable fields. You could just use a short code to drop in. Great if you've got things like contact details and things like that. You just want to put it various different places on your site, link those back to ACF, and then if you make changes, everywhere will pull that information in. And you don't want to use a page builder or get into the actual code of the template system that you're currently using. So I recommend checking ACF views out. There's a a lot more this can do. That's really just scratching the surface of the options that are available in the free version. So check that out. It's ACF views. Have a look and see what you think. Now, next on the agenda is ACF Better Search. And as its name suggests, this is kind of tied into the whole searching setup when it comes to working with your website. Now, by default, when you create custom meta fields inside WordPress, the normal built-in search feature in WordPress itself does not search against those custom fields. So this free little plugin will open that opportunity up so you can then filter any of the meta fields that you create. This is great if you are augmenting normal posts or custom post types. However, it's also really good if you want to completely replace all those default options, things like the title, the things like the actual content itself, featured image, those kinds of things. And you want to have everything controlled and built directly inside ACF, but you still want to make it searchable. So let me show you how this works. It's really, really easy. Once you've installed the plugin, simply come into the settings section and you have a new entry called ACF Better Search. Inside there, we've got a very simple setup. You can see we can choose the list of supported field types, text, text area, numbers, email, and so on. So if there are certain fields you don't want to search against, maybe an email address or a website address, you can go and make sure they're not enabled. But you can then just enable the options that you want. Then you've got additional features. Do you want to have this to search for the whole phrase instead of a single word? So this is kind of controlling exactly how specific you want to be with the search that you put in and how it actually searches against that ACF information. And then you've also got advanced settings. So you can switch this into light mode, which is a faster search. Great if you've got a much bigger database of information, but it is less accurate. And then you've got selected mode. So you can use only selected fields for searching. So this allows you to choose what field groups you do or don't want to use. And there's also the option for use implementation of regular expression, expressions and so on. But to be honest, you can literally set this up in a couple of seconds, choose what you do and don't want to include, whether you want to use light mode, selected mode, and if you want to specify exactly how the search works. And then once that's done, your search fields inside your website moving forward will search against those ACF meta fields Basically, specifically based upon what you've set it can search against. It's a really cool, simple little plugin that just makes the search inside WordPress so much more useful when you're an ACF user like I am. 
So next on our list is probably the granddaddy of all ACF plugins that open up a ton of possibilities. However, there is one caveat with this. You do need to have ACF Pro installed. This doesn't work with the free version of ACF. So if you're a pro user, you may want to check out Advanced Custom Fields Extended. Now this brings with it an abundance of new options, including new custom fields that you can use inside ACF Pro itself. There's 20 plus new ACF fields, 10 ACF fields enhanced. There's additional loca there's an abundance. Check out the link in the description for all the things this actually does. Now once you've gone ahead and installed and activated ACF Extended, you're going to find that your dashboard has changed somewhat. If you look at the ACF section, you'll see there's now additional options included in here. You can check out the settings, there's an abundance of options. I would say a lot of this is probably more advanced than what you're going to need and you can probably just go with the default settings for most use cases. However, let's just take a look at some of the options. First of all, let's go and take a look at the options we have inside, for example, field groups. Let's open this up. You'll see that the interface itself has changed a little bit. We can do things like display title, whether we want to auto sync via PHP or JSON. If we scroll down, you can see underneath the settings, we have some more options here. And if we scroll down again, we've got field group options here. So we can include custom data. We can add notes inside here. We can add field group data. If we come in and we say we want to open up advanced settings, for example, we can enable that and hit save changes. And this will now give us some advanced options inside this particular section. So if we open up something like the contact information, which is a WYSIWYG editor, we've had some of the basic information inside here, but we now have even more. So if we just choose something like advanced settings, we can open this up and we can choose where we want to display this. So you can see we've got everywhere administration or front end. We can then set up additional settings inside here, whether we want to make various different things, hide labels and hide instructions as well, so we can control how this all looks. Same thing goes for advanced validation. If we want to, we can open that up. And again, we can choose where this is going to be used. And then we can apply the different rules and any errors and so on. So there's options inside there that give you more granular control over what you can do with these various different field types as part of your meta fields. Coming into something like your presentation, you can also do things like then control who will actually see this WYSIWYG editor. So you may want to restrict this to just administrators and editors and anybody else would just have the plain old text box. Well, you've got the options inside here and you can see we can just customize this even further. So there's an abundance of options you have here as well, including things like your permissions and so on down the right hand side. And like I say your display titles, your auto syncs and so on. Let's save the changes on there. You also notice we've got forms, so we can create forms inside here as well. So we can go ahead, we can add a new form in, and we can now build out our form with a bunch of options like settings, your HTML, your validation options, success, and there's a cheat sheet to tell you all the different short codes you can use and so on. So again, tons of options. You want to create option pages inside your dashboard. Great if you want to have kind of global customization, things like addresses, email addresses, you know, things like that, that you want to be able to use throughout your site, colors and so on. You could create your own custom options pages using this. There's, there's lots and lots and lots of things you can do. And this is literally just tickling the surface. We don't even scratch it. We're just literally tickling it. So have a little look at the Advanced Custom Fields ACF Extended just to see some of the things you can do with this. I think if you're a power user and you want to get even more, you want to squeeze those last little drops out, this is a plugin you really want to check out. Now, the fifth and final plugin is not specifically a plugin dedicated to ACF, but you can use it with ACF to open up more possibilities. Now, if we go back to our very, very first plugin that give us some basic options about displaying additional content, this is like that but on steroids. This is admin columns. Now, this is the free version. The pro opens up more options, and I've covered the pro in previous videos. But I love what admin columns allows us to do. So if you are creating custom dashboards with custom content and custom post types, just being able to add in the information that you want to display and making it sortable, filterable, and so on, just makes it a much more usable place when you actually give access to this to additional users, or if you're using it yourself. Now, we're not restricted to using this only with ACF. We can use this with WooCommerce. We can use it with the default vanilla version of WordPress. All these options are available. So let's say, for example, we want to customize those accommodation sort of listing. Let's go ahead, change our post type from here. You can click and you can see there's all our different kinds of post types. We've got taxonomies. We've got post types, reusable blocks, pages. There's all the different kinds of things you want inside you. So let's come right up to the top and choose accommodation. 
And this will now show us all of the fields that we have listed inside the accommodation section. So just to refresh your memory, let's go and take a look at all accommodation. And this is what we currently have. Now, what will be really useful here is the thumbnail of the property itself. So we can visually see exactly what it is and we can quickly scan through. So let's go and address that. Let's come back over. Let's go ahead and add a new column in. And this is where we can choose the types of columns and so on. So you can see default is actions, but we can open this up and there's an abundance of different options inside you. Let's scroll through until we find featured image. We'll select that from there. We'll set any label we may want to apply. We can set a width to this, the custom size for the image. So let's say for this, we want this to be like 100 by 100 pixels. So it's a little bit larger than this kind of default 60 by 60. We'll click save. We'll position this at the beginning. So we'll just drag this up to the top and we'll just minimize it and we'll click on update. We've now added in a new field, which is the featured image. So let's come back over to our accommodation listing, hit refresh on there. So now we have the thumbnail for that specific property. Really simple example. Now let's say you don't like this kind of hover effect where we've got these options. You want to put those icons so people can immediately see and they don't need to hover over, especially if they're not used to working with WordPress. Let's come back over. Let's add a new column in. We can choose actions. We can leave that as it is. And we can just say we want to say, yep, yeah, we want to use icons and we'll click on update. And all we're going to do now is come back over, refresh one more time. And you find now that the little hover option is gone. And we now have the edit, the all the different options, delete in preview and all those kinds of things are now little icons that make the dashboard more usable and more obvious. So you can see very quickly, you can customize the look and feel of this, reorder it, change things, take things out that you don't want. And that again, is just literally scratching the surface of what the free version can do. So that's basically the five free plugins that I wanted to demonstrate to power up what you can do with ACF without spending a single penny. Penny. But let me know what tools you love. Do you have any free or paid plugins that you use alongside ACF that are absolute game changers? You can't use ACF without them. Let me know in the comment section down below so I can check them out and maybe feature them in a future video. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.